Hi, I'm Rainbow. Welcome to Bodacious Booty and Lean Legs. This is the time where we're going to get focused on that which we're standing on. We'll start in a stance that's a little more than hip width. And then we're in, going to inhale and just come down to a squat. So if you can't get your heels on the ground, you can use a blanket. If you want to modify, follow Arnell. So exhale, you're going to fold forward, but keep the knees slightly bent. Inhale, bend the knees so you're in a chair pose, elbows to knees. And then exhale, we're going to come onto one leg, using the leg the entire time, the muscles, hugging the knee up into the chest, and just draw in. And then inhale, extend, simply extend. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, reach out. So we are toning our butt here, strengthening and lengthening our leg, and at the same time, creating world peace. So we're multitasking. It's awesome. Let's do two more. Inhale, shine out. You might fall, but it's okay. And last time, exhale. We'll go ahead and come back to squat in the center. Inhale, exhale, fold. So you get a little blood flow and length in the backs of the legs. And then back into a chair pose. And we'll move to the other side, the easy side. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, extend. So it's all about the leg that's on the floor. It's not as much important as like how far you lift this leg up. You could bring it down a little bit further. Exhale, come on up. Two more. Use the belly towards the spine. And exhale, back into a squat. On an inhale, sink down. Reach up on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Keep your knees slightly bent. And bend the knees into chair pose. You're doing great. This time, we're going to step it back into a crescent position. And just bring that knee to the ground, the back knee to the ground. You can bring your hands to your thighs or also to the sky. And then all we're going to do here is straighten the leg. So you're not going to even think of lifting the knee up, but just straighten the leg. Bring the knee down, straighten the leg. Down, straighten. Exhale. And last time. Good. OK, and this time we're going to come forward. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale. We'll squat again. Exhale, straighten slightly. Bend the knees. Good. We'll move to the other side. Crescent pose. Knee drops. Set yourself up. Good. And then just straighten the leg back. Good. For one and two. You're toning your butt. You're lengthening your leg. You're also lifting the organs up off your chest. For two more. And good. OK, so last one. And then we'll come forward. Let's reach the hands up. This time, hold here. Inhale to squat down, toning the thighs. Exhale to straighten the legs. Bend down halfway chair pose. All of this is giving us a shapeless or a very shapeful, bodacious booty. OK, we're going to go ahead and come into a rest. So this is great for the hips, bringing blood flow and circulation. You'll stay here or otherwise wrap it into eagle pose. You can use your legs and you can also use your arms. To bring it one step deeper, if you have your balance, you can also bring your elbows to the legs. For one, two, you start to feel a burn in that hip, right? Keeping the knee bent, we're just gonna release, bringing the bottom hand to the floor so it's right underneath the shoulder and then opening up into a half moon pose. Half moon is where you're stacking a little bit, so you should be able to bring a hand over a hand. The back foot should be flexed. The hip is right over the toes. Let's take one more breath here, spread across the chest. And then we'll exhale, place that top hand to the ground and revolve around so that the toes are pointing towards the floor. Okay, so this is a little tricky. It works balance, but it's also great for toning the butt and the legs. So stay here or use the floor to come up and twist all the way up to standing. Point the foot, spread the toes. It helps release the psoas. It's a little easier that way. So we'll come back down on an inhale and we will exhale to come to standing. You want to spread the toes. This works focus, coordination, balance and after this things like handstands become even easier twist 
Good. And then we'll release to the center. Release the hips, come on down on an inhale. Exhale, straighten the legs and fold or move towards straight. Exhale, bend the knees into chair pose. And we'll switch to the other side, the easy side. Take your hip release, so either resting pigeon or eagle. Switching and crossing the arms. Breathe into the booty, into the legs. Whatever is like that thicker tissue, just allow the breath to create circulation, fresh cells, blood cells. So from here, we're gonna gently just look and see where your toes are. Make sure that the foot is balanced. Woo and then release into half moon pose. Stacking the body, so as if you're like, uh, there's a wall behind you. Shoulders move down away from the ears. Make sure you're breathing. If you're not breathing, you've gone too far. And then release that top hand to the floor. Toes go down to the ground. And so you're lengthening this leg, back of the hamstring, as well as toning the butt that's up towards the sky. So here, the opposite hand will come towards the sky, and then you'll use your core to come all the way up to standing and twist. Point the foot, spread the toes. So just two more times, you can do it. It's good if you can do it today, it's better if you can do it tomorrow. You're always welcome to modify, but it's that challenge that creates new neurons in the brain that allows us to continue to grow. Good, and we'll switch. Go ahead and do a stretch. We're gonna come into a wide stance. We'll just bend the knee over to the left. You can bring the opposite toes up towards the sky. You did awesome. Now lengthening the legs. One of the things I just heard is if you wanna have a really great butt, you have to open your groins and your hips. So they're all connected. And then we'll switch to the other side. Toes up, foot flexes, breathe. Take one more breath here. And then we'll just come into Supta or Abhata Konasana, feet together, bound angle, angle pose. Flesh of the seat is gonna come back. And like I said, getting into the groins and the hips, you're just gonna open your feet like a book, a book in which you wanna imagine your legs, your hips, your butt being the most awesome expression of yourself that they can possibly be. So thank you for joining us for Boudacious Booty and Lean Legs, and we'll see you next time. Thank you and namaste.